Welcome to Stay Focused. Our guests here are Ricky, Andy, Andy. Welcome to Stay Focused. Today's topic is the afterlife. So, where do you think you're gonna go when you die? I'm going to heaven. Why? Because I've accepted Lord Jesus into my life. Do you live by His ways? Yeah. Do you hold any unforgiveness? Do I what? Do you hold any? Do you carry any unforgiveness for anyone? I mean, I do, but everyone's not perfect. You gotta go to Jesus when everything's when everything's crumbling. Okay, now no matter who you are, you can be a pastor, a preacher, anyone. If you carry unforgiveness, you go directly to hell. You know that? Of course. So you want you do you wanna ask the Lord to help you to get rid of that unforgiveness? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so so what are some things that you seen that's going out there in our youth today? What? <laughs> what are some crazy things that you see that, that oh. are happening to our youth today? What's crazy happening? Crazy things? Yeah. Yeah. People dying? Yeah. Over dumb things? Yeah, yeah really, crazy. gang wars. Stuff like People that. People just dying. It's so just stupid thing. things happening nowadays, Drugs. and it's really dumb. So what do you, what do you two think you're, you're going to go when you die? I think I'm going to go out to the Lord and kick it with him. I'm just going to be like, yo, what's up, God? Same like that. I think, I think I'm going to go to heaven. Why? Because... I, I follow God's rules. I go by, like his religion, like his commands. His do you repent? Yes, I do. Daily? Not daily, but like I go to church every Sunday. So All right. <laughs> I mean, it's every week weekend, but I still do it. So I All guess right. that counts. Do you guys believe that there's a heaven? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys believe that there's a hell? Yeah. Yeah, there's a hell. So what do you guys consider yourself like? You know, like say you guys say you guys are going to heaven. So is heaven is for everybody? Uh, heaven is not for everybody. No. Okay, who goes to heaven? People that people that are good, people that obey his rules, people people that do not sin like horrible sins like killing people and like murder. But someone can have any level of sin and still get to heaven and that way is through repenting think, and accepting Christ. I think that you everyone sins, it's a given everyone sins, but if you look if you look for him and you ask him to come into your life and you ask for forgiveness, I think that he'll be there for anybody. And that's, that's when you believe in God truly in your heart and you believe in him, I think that's when you go to heaven. Okay, now there's something that I have to tell you guys. Do not hold any unforgiveness for anyone, no matter what they've done for you, because if you do not forgive them, God will not forgive you for your sins, and that's a one-way ticket to hell. That is very true. And many that Christians go to hell because of unforgiveness. They live by his ways, they're repentant and did everything perfect. It's just that someone might have hurt them and they held that in their heart and never let it go. And boom, they went to hell just for that unforgiveness. Yeah, just for one little thing, you could go to hell. So you guys learn how to forgive to anybody who, you know, done you guys wrong. So it's just like, you know, like when somebody do something to you, instead of being like, oh my God, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, just said, nah. I know, I know it's hard, you know, but Jesus did that for us. So why can't we do that to, for other people? Uh, I went to I Catholic think, school, so I'm, I'm I good. Think, I think that also has to do with a lot of maturity. As you become older, you become more mature. And it, it's not so much childish to be like, oh, I'm going to get him back. You know, once you get older, you kind of understand that things happen in life. So you you learn how to, like, forgive better, easier, and faster. Yeah, like, I'll admit, like, when I was a kid, like, I, I look back at the things I did, and I'd be like, wow, I was really dumb. And now like, that I got older and that I'm like more mature in my life now, like I let things slide more easily. Like I don't try and get on top of it as much. So are you all born again? Yes. I am born again. I feel like a man. Have you truly, truly accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? And you really, really try to live by His ways? Oh, of course I do. And you try to avoid falling into temptation and sin. Because it's only by God's grace we can be, overcome temptation. Always. What are some words of encouragement that you guys could give to the other youth out there that don't know Christ? Words of encouragement? Uh, give it to him first. <laughs> just follow, just follow the Ten Commandments, and you'll be straight. Stay, like, stay if you strong. if you don't do the bad things, you won't get in trouble and shit like that, stuff like that. There's gonna be a lot of things in someone's life that you're gonna look back on, and you're gonna be like, "Wow, I did that." You just gotta ask for forgiveness. I mean, you're always gonna do something. You always gotta look up to him and say, Lord, I'm sorry for doing this. Just be with me. Walk with me as I, all these sins are coming to me. I think you'll be all right. I have to agree, yeah, you just gotta be faithful and you gotta just stay strong and, and pray every day or, or, or whenever you can and ask for forgiveness, like my brother said, so. Do it every day, every day, every day. one day. Oh, 
always. Remember, forgive others that the Lord may forgive you. Thank you for watching. Stay focused. Thank you guys for being on Stay Focused. Yeah, very welcome. Yeah. It's about the afterlife. I'm here with okay. Barry and Wendy. Hey guys, welcome to Stay Focused. Okay, now our first question is Does God love us? Yes, He does, unconditionally. Yes, definitely, of course. So what did he do on the cross for us to show us that, to show us that he loves us? He died for us. He died for all of our sins. He died on the cross for us to save us. Now, proof that he loves us is in John 3, verse 16. It says, and God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that we may have everlasting life and not perish. Amen. So what are some things that you've seen out there that's, that's not good in your sight? Like, what are some crazy things that, are, that you see that's going on to our generation out there? Excuse me? What are some crazy things that you see that happening to our generation? Uh, the, the society? Well, more teens are falling away from God instead of going closer to Him. More parents are, are teaching their kids of uh, going to a club is good, not going to church is, is good, and stuff like that. And the TV is not helping either because they, as they show on TV, sex sales and all that kind of stuff, and billboards, all that kind of stuff. It's manipulating the mindset of the kids. Are you guys born again? Yes, I am. I accepted Christ in my heart. Are you born again? Yes, I've been born again for about three years now, and I'm having fun with it. Okay. Amen. So who goes to hell? The non-believers, the people who choose not to go to Christ, the one who have, the one who don't, the one who don't believe in Christ and God Himself. That's who. Right. Should hell concern people? What did you, um, excuse me. What did you say? Should hell concern people? Like, should they really be worried about it? Yes, they should be because it's it's real and it's true. All right. So what can we do? You know, because some people out there they still they still think that earth is hell. So what 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 are some proofs that we know of that we could? That, what are some proofs that you guys know of that you guys could tell them about hell? I mean, you know, hell is real. Earth is nothing compared to what's gonna happen to you if you do go to hell. And if your name is not found in the book of life, you will go to hell. And you can find that in Revelation 20, verse up to 15 and 16. So. Man, what about you, Brother Bear? What can you say? If you say this is hell, then you are, then, then you have, then you don't know what you're saying because this is, this is nothing. This is paradise come compared to hell and all, all right. that. So there's people who've been to hell who, who, who witnessed hell and seen all kind of stuff. And they say that this is this is a paradise compared to hell. Hell is eternal. Hell is like something that you're gonna be suffering for for a long amount of time. All right. I was right. Okay. So is it possible that someone can lead another person to hell? Yes, it is possible. A lot of people, a lot of um, teens they do lead each other to hell because if they don't believe, they want you not to believe. All right, is it possible? Definitely, um, because of the soul ties, because of the hatred. Somebody have, somebody judge somebody, they hold them in their hearts, and God basically judge you upon that. And, and if you don't let go of it, if you don't forgive, because as we shall forgive that neighbor. You know, we are, we are one, we are family, so we should be able to love and walk in love and not hate nobody, be just anybody. So, I mean, yes, we, somebody will leave somebody to have help because of that. For example, All right. Madonna, she did a performance on MTV where her, Britney Spears, and Christina Aguilera were kissing, and they're basically promoting homosexuality. Now, where do all people who practice homosexuality go? Heaven or hell? They go to hell. Why? Because in the Bible it says not to. 